hear steps walking up to me while I'm looking. I hear Michael, come on. I got so happy, y'all. I turn around, I look. Oh, God. Don't you ever do that again. Everybody's got a plan until they get punched in the face. I go to come at them. All of a sudden, as soon as I go in, boy. What? Wait a minute. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Michael. It has been for a long time. I am that four foot nine legally blind YouTuber that I wish you could have met sooner. Now, in a previous video, I talked about how I wanted to discuss anxiety with y'all. So, anybody that struggles with anxiety, or if you know someone that struggles with anxiety, they may benefit from this. I'm going to talk about how I struggled with it and how I overcame it. Now, there's people that have social anxiety. I was one of them people. I didn't want to talk, didn't know how to talk, couldn't talk, wouldn't talk to people, didn't want to, didn't want to have nothing to do with people. There's also people that struggle in a crowd of people. With a lot of people surrounding them, they can't take it. And their anxiety starts messing with them. I was the same way. When people would surround me, it was horrible. I would try to get in this invisible position. I don't know what that means, but it made sense to me. So if anybody talked to me, somebody would be like, hey, I'd be like, hey, and try to curl back up in my invisible position. Cause like, if they say something else, like how are you? I don't know what to say. Hopefully nobody notices me or try to talk to me cause I don't want to talk. I don't even want to be here. I don't like y'all people. I don't even know y'all. Like I don't like this. Also a few weeks ago, I learned that another form of anxiety, someone that struggles with it, is someone that apologizes a lot. So if you ever heard a person just apologized for something that's not even their fault. I was one of them people. I would apologize for absolutely everything. Hey man, what's today? Ain't today Monday? Nah man, it's Tuesday. Oh, it's Tuesday? Oh man, I'm sorry. I thought it was Monday. Why did I apologize? Why for come did I apologize? Did he do something to me? He didn't do nothing to me. All he did was help me learn what day it was. That's all he did. So why am I apologizing? I don't know. I'd apologize for everything to the point, apology after apology, some of my friends will be like, brother, listen, you didn't do nothing wrong, you apologize again, and I'm going to smack you. And I'd be like this, well, I'm sorry you feel that way. <laughs> Apologizing for everything. Like if you do something wrong, somehow it's my fault, I'm sorry about it. I didn't do nothing, but like, I'm sorry. So guys, I'm going to tell you the story right now. Feel free to laugh because it's pretty ridiculous. I try to see things from my perspective. I am a little person and I have really bad eyesight. Legally blind. Every day before school, I would have to know who's taking me to school and who's picking me up. I would be talking my mama to death. I'd be like, mama, who's taking me to school? She'd be like, I'm taking you to school. What vehicle are you taking me in? Well, obviously mine. I'm like, fair enough. Uh, who's picking me up from school? Your dad's getting off early, he's gonna pick you up from school. What vehicle are they picking me up in? <laughs> this is not a drill, this is not a joke, this is real. I would have to know. Now I'm like, okay, I get it in my head, she done told me, she done told me, okay. Mom's picking me up from school, dad's picking me up from school. I go to school and I'm like, all right, I got this, I got this. I be thinking about me remembering Who's picking me up and who's taking me to where I wouldn't be able to focus? If I didn't know who was taking me or who was picking me up, oh, it was the end of the world! Ah! 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 Oh, it was the end of the world, brother. Let me tell you. Okay, I get to school. My mom took me to school, like she said in her vehicle. Check. Okay. Your dad is gonna pick you up in his vehicle. I'm like, all right. Check. I got it. I'm at school and I'm remembering that. Mom took me to school, dad's gonna pick me up. Well, class dismissed, bell rings, I go outside, I'm a car rider, dad's getting off, I'm looking for the vehicle. I'm still looking for the vehicle. Someone's coming to get me, right? They, 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 they need me. I'm looking, I'm looking, I can't see good. I'm, I'm still looking. Where, where's, where, where, where's my father? Where's he at? He's not here. Five minutes go by. I'm like, did someone forget me? So, so someone forgot me. I'm like, what? Now wait a minute. Wait a minute. He, she said he, he would be here in, in his vehicle. That, 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 that's what she said. Yeah, y'all remember? Play it back. That's what she said. Okay, he's not here. Said okay. 
I'm like, okay, maybe they're at home sitting down, watching TV, forgot about me. That they'll, they'll remember. That <laughs> they'll remember. That they need me, right? It's 17 seconds go by. That they, they, they need me, right? They, they really do, don't they? I'm looking. I don't see them. I don't know what to do. My hind end is sweating. All of a sudden, I hear a door close. Bam! I hear steps walking up to me while I'm looking. I hear Michael, come on. I got so happy, y'all. I turn around, I look. Oh, God. Wait a minute. It's my mom. It's my mom. I follow her to the vehicle, get in the vehicle. I'm not, now wait a minute. You, you said my dad was gonna pick me up. She's like, well, I got off earlier, so I came to pick you up. That, 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 that's not what you said. You said, Dad was coming to pick me up in his vehicle. You said that, didn't you? Didn't you? She was like, well, son, you know someone's coming to get you. We're not just going to leave you. That, that's not what you said. You said Dad was coming to pick me up. And I look at her. I'm looking at her like, don't you ever do that again. She was like, Michael, I got off earlier, so I came to pick you up. Don't you ever do that again, okay? Now you think when it's over, I'm gonna be fine. I'm gonna calm down before I get home. Nope, <laughs> I didn't. I, I, on the way home, this is what happened, no joke. On the way home, I'm like, now I'm like, hold on, wait, wait a minute. She said my dad was supposed to pick me up. That's what she said the day before. She said she was taking me to school and she took me to school and then she said my dad was picking me up from school, but he didn't pick me up from school. She came earlier to pick me up from school. Now I'm like, what if she didn't tell dad? What if, what if she didn't get a hold of him? What if she didn't tell him? What if he's back there right now? What if he's back there waiting on me? Daddy! What if he's back there? We need to go back. We, we need to go back. She's like, I done talked to your dad. I told him I was coming to pick you up. I'm like, okay. I didn't hear it the first time. I was like, what if he's still back there? And then she said, I done talked to him. He's at home. I, I'm, I'm over here like, yeah, we'll see. Yeah, we'll see if he's home. Oh, we'll, we'll see if he's home. We'll see. I am disappointed. I was lied to. I feel betrayed. I don't know what to do. Now. I don't know what to do anymore. I get home. My dad's vehicle is in the driveway. He is inside. <sighs> okay. Maybe I'll calm down a little bit, right? <laughs> no. I went inside, went straight to my room, worried about how the next day was going to turn out. And you think it would be better as I got older. <laughs> no. No, it didn't. Now, let me tell y'all what helped me overcome this barrier of anxiety or what affected me most of my life. Later on down the road, I was one of them people that didn't want to try anything because I didn't think I would be any good at it. I seen my family, I did martial arts, so then I ended up getting into martial arts when I was younger. Didn't take it very seriously, but as I got older, I got into it. This is what helped me build confidence. I started to love doing martial arts. When I was sparring, I would actually learn about people, learn their body language, and learn facial cues. But let me give you an example. You're sparring somebody and you tag them easy. You tag them easy, you don't hit them too hard. They're gonna be in their comfort zone. They're gonna feel safe. They're not gonna feel threatened by you in any way to either advance at you or defend against you. You tag them hard, they'll either get a little upset. They'll, first of all, they'll be shocked. And then they'll get frustrated, get angry, and probably wanting to start coming at you a little harder, or you tag them hard, all of a sudden they start getting scared and they'll start retreat. I was one of them people, I've, I've experienced both of these things. Someone keeps tagging me and I can't get a hit in, I get angry. I start coming forward and reacting aggressively and start going down swinging. I've also experienced being scared when it came to sparring. I'd be like, okay, okay, I got my plan. Last time this person got the best of me. That, that's what happened. They got the best of me. This time, I have a well thought out plan. And like Mike Tyson says, everybody's got a plan until they get punched in the face. I go, I bow in, bump gloves, I go to come at them. All of a sudden, as soon as I go in, BAM! What, wait a minute, brother, wait a minute. I, I, I had a strategy, I forgot my plans at home. I'll be right back. As I got better and better in martial arts, I was able to pick these things up from people. I was starting to learn about people from how I was reacting to certain situations, I would start to see that in others and that would help me understand them. So I started to build a confidence through the skills I was gaining and being able to connect with people. So that took a lot of the pressure off me when it came to having an interaction with people. Now, I still struggled. I didn't struggle with the confidence anymore because I got better. 
because I got better and better and, and was progressing at a level other people couldn't. So I'm like, no, wait a minute, this is, this is weird. Someone that doesn't have confidence, someone who struggles with anxiety is all of a sudden being confident, like when it comes to having an interaction with people. is starting to build skills, starting to have a lot of the pressure taken off him. I'm like, something's starting to change. Now all of you are like, okay, you went through martial arts, you built a confidence in that, and that took a lot of the pressure off you when it came to having an interaction with people, and that took pressure off you when you were in a crowd of people. You weren't as cautious when it came to doing things. Like, what, what, okay, now what changed about social? To answer that question, this is gonna sound crazy. When it comes to building conversations, that's still something that freaks me out. That's still something I don't wanna deal with. Like, I, I just, I just can't do it. Like, hey, how are you? Good. I only got that far. Where's my notes? I'm gonna be honest with you. You may not even believe me. Doing what I'm doing right now, I'm talking to a camera. I wanted to have that pressure taken off of me to be able to build conversations with people, build relationships with people. I'm like, uh, okay, like something's, something's gotta change. I picked up a camera, came across YouTube, and this is what I wanted to do. I wanted to pick up a camera, start talking to it. The more I did, the better I got. As you can see in my old videos, horrible, horrible. Some of them, some of them's pretty bad. <laughs> now when you pick up a camera, you're gonna be the only one talking. You're gonna be able to talk about your day. You can't ask people how they're doing because nobody's gonna answer. This is the biggest reason I got into this is because I wanted to reach as many people as I could. I wanted them to see me through a screen and be like, wait a minute, this person is legally blind, he's four foot nine, he's a little person, he's got bad eyesight, but he's still going out into the world and having a good time. He's still going out and smiling, bringing smiles to people, making people laugh. This is weird. This is very different. Some people sound weird. I like to say unique. It sounds better. Okay? But I picked up a camera, and I wanted to, I wanted to try to help other people become more confident. You see me, if I'm going out and I'm being confident, talking to people, having fun, I want you to see that and follow that. I want you to be able to do the same thing. It may not be martial arts. It may not be YouTube. I want you to find something that you love to do. Do something that helps you build confidence. With me, it was martial arts. And with me being able to talk to people and get over that barrier of having, of having social anxiety, being able to talk to people, it helped me by picking up, picking up a camera. That is what helped me. Now what helped me may not be what helps you, but I still want to encourage you to go out, have fun, also, another thing, people that have social anxiety, people that don't want to talk, didn't know how to talk, couldn't talk, wouldn't talk, I want you to pick up a camera. You ain't got to post this. I, I can already tell, like, I ain't picking up no camera and posting it online. I didn't say you had to post it. All I'm saying is you just pick it up and record it and talk to it, go back and watch it. That's all you got to do. Maybe watch it with some of your friends or any, anybody, anybody that you're comfortable with. The better you get at that, the easier it's gonna be with talking to people, building conversations with people, having an interaction with people. You're gonna be better off. So if you're watching, if you're somebody that struggles with anxiety, sorry I was all over the place, hopefully something that I said helped you. And if you know someone that struggles with anxiety, share this video with them. Share the video, and if you help them, I want you to know that that was all you that helped them. I just made the video, and they probably wouldn't have seen it if you hadn't shared it with them. So that's all you. You can give yourself some credit for that. That's what I'm talking about. All right, people, I hope this video benefited you in some way, because if it did, like, share, subscribe if you were live. Do what you got to do, and until next time, as always, I love y'all. Stay blessed and stay ashamed.